How's it going guys? Got today's video coming a little bit later, but uh, it's going to be like that for the rest of the week. That's just how this training schedule happens to line up. It's not particularly difficult, just public transportation is a bitch, you know, getting home and all that stuff. It does let me catch up on books I've wanted to read though, and uh, music I've wanted to listen to, so that's a plus if anything. But uh, I got a game against one power up Braylum. I believe this was a standard match taken some amount of time ago. Looked in the folder, I was like, this is a nice modest length video that I suppose that people will enjoy. And uh, we'll jump right into it. So he's going to go ahead and lead off with Landris. I am going to go ahead and lead off with uh, my choice Scarf Infernape. Uh, he does not know that it's Scarf. I don't want to let him know that it's Scarf. I have something that can very easily take uh, any hit from Landris. And it turns out that he decides to go for the Swords Dance on the first turn, which is really ballsy. And I don't understand why you do it, especially when I have something that can phase you out. That's at full health. It's got sturdy. Um, I'm not threatened by this thing at all. So my initial plan was to go for the Whirlwind in the first place to phase it out, but he decides to switch it out knows that he can't really do anything to it. Um, if I had Hazards up, I had no way of getting Hazards up, but I guess he just decided, oh, I have Initiative right on the first turn to set up Swords Dance. No, that's stupid, especially, you know, when I still have the Skarm here. So he just, I decided to set up a layer of Spikes, and I'm going to stay in because I do have the Sturdy. I want to see what this Infernape is going to do. It turns out it goes for the Fire Punch, which does a fuck ton of damage. Holy crap, I was not expecting that. And this is a physically defensive Skarmory. So maybe Choice Banded Fire Punch, that was like the first thing I was thinking of, you know, Choice Banded uh, Iron Fist Fire Punch was the first thing to come to mind. I don't know if that's uh, that ends up being the case. But I'm going to go into my, uh, my Latias. This is my Calm Mind Recover uh, Mono Attacking set, that kind of thing. Still does a lot. That actually, you know, that actually ends up being a crit. So I don't know what the fuck was the deal with the other thing. I don't know what kind of building for any of this is. But he decides to switch out. And uh, I believe I try to set up a substitute here because the only real thing I'm threatened by is going to be like U-turns and stuff. And if this Verizion uh, turns out to be special, then I can call mine to the point where Hidden Power Ice is not really going to do a whole hell of a lot. If it turns out to be physical, um, you know, it'll close combat uh, to the point where its special defense lowers a lot. I know I'm going to be faster under all circumstances unless this thing happens to be Scarfed. Uh, you know, this thing having max speed, uh, I believe, I believe it's max speed. Uh, I don't know about max HP, I just got this thing off the database, I've used it a couple times. It's a really satisfying thing to use and I don't really like setting up mid-game, but I don't remember seeing any steel types on his team, I'm looking real close at the thumbnail that's on the Vegas track. If there is, I must have assumed at that point that it would have been to the point where I wouldn't have had to worry about it too much. What, what am I looking at? Um, is that a Metagross? I don't think it's a Metagross in the thumbnail. I'm not even, whatever, I'm not even paying attention to the game. As you can see, um, he tries to get in a Calm Mind War with me. Turns out he thinks he has Hidden Power Ice. That's not Ice. I'm pretty sure he's running, I don't know what that is. Might be Fire, might be... Fire seems kind of stupid, especially since you have the fighting stuff to get rid of Ferrothorn. So it's not that big a deal. And right now it seems like it's going to be a Latias Sweep. But uh, if I'm uploading it like this, and you know, I've already said his name and stuff like that, you know, it's not going to end up being that, so don't worry about it. But I'm still setting up behind the sub, he brings in Gliscor. Gliscor is not going to want to take a Dragon Pulse, I figure I might as well attack. I don't know what the fuck he thinks he's going to do. But um, Dragon Pulse is going to take this thing down in one hit after I've gotten a couple of Calm Minds up. Actually, no it's not. Just kidding. I'm a dirty liar. I've, I haven't seen this video at all. I vaguely remember it. But Ice Fang is enough to take out my substitute. And I believe I go for a substitute here predicting another protect, but it looks like he's actually just pretty set on just whittling me down with ice fangs and uh, making sure I don't have the substitute at this point. But in reality, all I could really do is just set up the plus six, you know, recovering along the way. Uh, freezes or crits would happen eventually, I suppose, uh, just based on... Uh just based on, you know, me being on the defensive and that kind of thing. So I figure I'm just going to go ahead and go for the Dragon Pulse. Ironically, you know, end up getting a crit on him. Didn't matter at all at that range, especially with all the boosts and whatnot. But just based on what I was talking about, I find it kind of funny. But um, he's going to send in Hydreigon. Now, even if this thing is Scarf, I do kind of expect to take a... Uh, a Draco meter just because of all the calm minds I have. I mean, I know it'll be super effective and everything, but I've got plenty up. I'm pretty close to full HP. Latias is pretty nice on the uh, special side to the point where I think I can take it uh, with that many boosts. But it turns out he's not Scarf. He just kind of sends this thing in to die right there. So it's like, okay, whatever. Got another dragon. I'm looking to take this thing out with a uh, 
a Dragon Pulse, and I was like, you know what, if he's sending this thing, you know, if there's a speed tie or whatever, uh, that kind of thing, I'll just recover it off. Unfortunately, I go first, and he hits me with a Dragon Pulse, and he gets a critical fucking hit right here through all of my boosts. Definitely mattered. I don't care if he was Specs or not, I was at full HP. Um, that sucks, but he's Life Orb, and, you know, I know that he's Life Orb, so I can go to my Choice Scarf in front of him and just go for the U-turn. And, um... I don't really know what I can do from here. I mean, if I didn't really think about the fact that I was coaxing him into going for the surf because I do have a Gastrodon, and I decided to go out into that because it is a uh, it's a special defensive build. But it turns out that I kind of did that on accident. I was like, I'm just gonna get some super effective damage and uh, you know scout out. But it turns out I accidentally did something cool, and I'm gonna hack some right back uh, as he decides to go into Verizon right now and takes a little bit of spikes damage. But I got a, uh, a Storm Jade boosted Ice Beam, which is actually gonna hit him pretty hard. And on top of that, leave him with a nice freeze. The best part of this is uh, he's not even going to thaw on the next turn. So he's going to end up losing his only thing with a four times effective move, I think. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, um, he ends up being frozen the entire time and uh, I kill him off with an ice beam. So hacks for hacks, almost, you know, uh, directly right after. But he's going to send in his Landorus. I am at full HP. I do not fear taking a hit from this thing at all, despite the fact that I'm specially defensive, I think, I would assume. Uh, seeing as how I don't really take this Earthquake too well, but uh, I go for the Ice Beam, you know, plus one, it's four times super effective, it's not even stabbed, doesn't need to be, you know, it just, it's a fucking Ice move, it'll take it out regardless, so we're going to go from there, um, and Gastrodon is looking pretty good, I don't remember what else he has left, he has Infernape left, that's it, so if this thing is Choice Banded, you know, he'll lock himself in on a move and uh, he'll take me out, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch out into Skarmory's Death Fodder just to see what he's going to end up going for, if he goes for a fighting type move, then uh, I can, you know, probably go back into Gastrodon. I know that he's probably not going to end up being Scarfed just because of the damage he did to Skarmory earlier. So the fact that I'm Scarfed is going to be pretty cool in terms of, you know, my Inferno. But um, he's lowered his defenses and stuff, and I'm pretty sure I am an adamant choice Scarf Inferno as opposed to a Jolly one, which is pretty cool. And uh, with the defense dropping from his close combat, my close combat is going to be enough to uh, take the game. So a little Infernape on Infernape uh, showdown. Actually, no, no, it's not. The one thing I was fearing was this Latios. But um, even if close combat doesn't kill it off, whatever hit he decides to go for immediately after uh, will take him out owing to life of recoil. So I kind of had that going on. And I guess I just kind of forgot about that thing. It's been a fairly long day, but um, take it out with a punch of the face, just kind of like how I took out the rest of my day and all of the fucking training things on the computer. But uh, that'll do it for this game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I We didn't actually see Star Raptor. I think that was a Choice Banded one. Whatever. Or Metagross. Thinking about it. Oops. Anyways, uh, if you enjoyed this, you can leave a like rating, uh, comment, subscribe, do your thing. I feel bad for not uploading TCGO on the weekend. I just got so, so, so busy. So expect TCGO shortly after you see this video in your sub boxes. Um, I do have a game that I can go ahead and toss in your guys' direction. And I haven't had anything for dinner. Oh my god, I'm probably going to go get something to eat while this renders. Oh! Anyways, uh, that's my night. Hope you guys are having a good night yourselves. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow.